<laughs> Folks, welcome to VG Bus. Our old friend Bob is back. He's driving a Chevy, so we already made a mistake. And apparently we're going to learn how to waterproof our basement. He probably has trouble walking up those steps. Oh, look at that jacket. Why is he wearing a hard hat? I know, he's not in any danger. <laughs> no, he's not. Oh, he broke it. <laughs> I love it. I love his clothing style. I want to go to my nearest pens and pick. When you oh, LL Beans. Space, oh, one of the first yeah. things that you want to keep in mind is that you want it to be a dry living area. So last week we started looking at some of the problems. You know, I actually like basements that are flooded with a huge pool of water so I can swim from room to room. Oh, it yeah. makes things more interesting. It does. What's this gizmo you've got right down here? Yeah, this is called a water guard port. And uh, Gizmo? put this in for a couple, a couple of different reasons. He clipped uh, it in. Shouldn't he know what it is? Inside the system afterwards. After what, you just touch other people's things? Also, in this case, <laughs> I asked you. putting in a dehumidification system. And it provides a oh, boy. He's going to ask what that is. Does a a dehumidification the system so remove a, humidity? A <laughs> or does it keep the humidity in? in? Okay. It keeps it in, let's, Bob. Let's talk about the. Oh, uh, that's not good. We want the basements to be dry. <laughs> let's see the three pumps. This is your first pump. It's AC operated. This is your secondary pump. This is an AC backup pump. So if this one ever fails, then this one. Well, what if all three of them fail? We better get a fourth one. <laughs> that's right. Okay. All right. Yeah. At that point, get a fifth one too. <laughs> Bob will buy it from Sears. <laughs> Boy, if I take any advice from Bob, my whole basement is going to be pumps. I mean, aren't you limited by the diameter of the pipe? That's right, and that's why we have two different discharge pipes coming out of here uh, and run them both separately. I don't think these guys like working with Bob. And then the third pump? The third yeah, they do look miserable. Okay. Yeah. So if the power goes out, the water will rise to its operating range, and that will automatically pump the water out off the battery power supply. Excellent. Okay, so we well, have we got a lid on it, and we're which just means more nothing. It means nothing. There's always going to be some standing water in that. Isn't that a problem? Uh, normally it would be, but this sump system has an airtight lid on it, so that pool of water that's sitting there all the time doesn't evaporate. So it can't evaporate back in. All right. Yeah, and uh, we've also uh, included an airtight floor drain in sump lid. So this way, if there was He's a gonna ask what airtight any plumbing means. source in the house, it would... Uh, run to this low spot and then run down. Speaking this, of tight, uh, did you see how tight Bob's down, pants got to be? He wears a belt plus he tucks in his shirt. No wonder why he's stupid. He doesn't get any circulation. What about if you run out of power and you go on oh. battery power? Well, Didn't he uh, ask that question? Yeah. That the homeowner knows well, that's why there's multiple pumps. So that's why there's multiple the people box there. To box for the battery <laughs> if one kills and themselves on the site, there's another one to take over. sounds off. Sure as hell, Bob isn't going to step in. Power to tell them that <laughs> you've got to restore these primary pumps before the battery goes dead. Okay. It seems like you, you've thought about everything, but there's got to be some other... And Bob has thought about nothing. You, you're taking all the water that collects here up... Well, wow, look at that ear, Bob. ...in between the ceiling joists to an outside location. <laughs> What Looks like it's been free. stretched. Yeah, yeah, here's the problem. <laughs> he has really big that. ears, uh, but he doesn't guard. listen we very well. <laughs> all right, so that the ice guard prevents any icing from occurring and forming all the way into the house. Well, it doesn't. Yes, is that so what an ice guard does? Wow. To allow the water I had to no idea what an ice guard was. We're learning so much today. And, uh, Why is he wearing sunglasses in the basement? Does <laughs> he think he's Corey Hart? <laughs> that's one question. We need to replace but this. But notice uh, what's missing in order to here. Get the new. Um, besides to parts the to the basement, the there's no Bob. Oh, that's, that's why it's so peaceful. <laughs> that's why work is getting done. There's a stereotype that union plumbers only do large projects, but actually, Al's a small union contractor from Peabody, Massachusetts, who decided from to where? He's been working Peabody, his Massachusetts. Oh, there goes all the shit that Bob's taking upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you just see it just the fall down on the floor. Bob, we told you you couldn't use the bathroom while we're working. 
for this and I really have the gold. <laughs> Why did you flush? Oh well, my! Well, my wife wasn't in with me to guide me. I still don't understand what happens when things excrete from my um your butt. Yes. The cast iron is really in vertical holding weight. This is a two bay clamp. I'm glad Bob isn't asking? here because he, he'd be saying, "Is that a pipe you just broke? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are those clamps?" Now he's gonna pour it's hot a, lead over that. Isn't that inside. like unsafe? Hey, Bob told him what to do, so don't <laughs> question what Bob right says. Here. What it does, it it uh, wraps around the. Like, joints, what if some kids go down in the basement and play and start licking and things and Bob, touching it? Bob doesn't know how to make children, so he wouldn't think of that. Fair enough. Well, what if he does the same thing? <laughs> well, then we have no more Bob Zila. It's about four pounds of lead. And, uh, wow, that's a lot of pounds of lead there. It's a lot of poison. We, we packed half the joint with oakum, and uh, the joint only took what it needed. To Can film. you do that nowadays? I mean, I know it's a sewer pipe. It's not a I don't uh, think it water feed pipe. but It's can... still lead. Am I having a neoprene sleeve? Oh, well, you know, if this is I already Lang's it. house... You better expect there's going to be a lot of clogs. Oh, believe me, this isn't Artie Lang's house, because this, this is like very little work that has to be done. <laughs> we're going to demo these old brass water lines, and we're going to replace them with... Oh, the if it's brass, them. now Bob's we're jerking gonna off. Gonna oh, yeah, from the last video, his brass sleeve. <laughs> Did he love to put over gas pipes that he had in his basement? <laughs> Or in his closet for 20 years. <laughs> Drain the house down with any water. And oh, that's we'll, not good. <laughs> cut the pipe into sections where we can take it down. This is the uh, original brass tubing that was used when the house was built. And as you can see, it's very corroded and very thin. And it's always a good idea to get rid of it uh, when you're doing any remodeling work. Um, oh, yeah, get rid of it. Want, They're going to go to stuff. the scrapyard and get a fortune for it. <laughs> yeah, they are. Shysters. <laughs> Well, Bob's probably going to get it first. Yeah, right. <laughs> They're going to say, well, you know what? This is old pipe. We need to scrap this. No, no, don't get rid of that. <laughs> I've got an antique 1911 <laughs> brass finished fixture <laughs> that needs a brass <laughs> sleeve. Uh, we manufacture three different kinds of PEX. Uh, PEXL for plumbing, PEXTRON for heating, and last, PHOSTAPEX. Phospapex is a product with form stability. It can be used for both plumbing and... Yeah, it looks nice, but I'm sure they rip you off. Is, um, <laughs> in, I'm sure it's uh, very expensive. No. For oh, I'm sure it is. As well as baseboard heat. And Bob went to Today the discount the store. Plumbing system. And the big advantage of <laughs> Mr. our Third. plumbing system with <laughs> yeah, is our connection <laughs> system. Our connection is simple Mr. as Seconds it has is the same too <laughs> with a sleeve, with eye hole. Make remodeling an old house. Oh, easier. he's back. Okay, so... We've got uh, a water heater to talk about with Dan Driscoll. This is going to be Dan's good. Dan's an old friend. We've talked about these Renais before. This is for the whole house, right? This is a whole house system, Bob. Yes. Place to <laughs> You're so inside of a house, house. Bob. A You're in the basement. So this will provide laundry, cooking, dishwasher, and bathing. make sure he knows cooking. where he is. Mm -hmm. So this really can do that, though. I mean, you're talking three bathrooms, and, and this is a three-bedroom house, I believe, so that you could have as many as six people needing to use showers and all that, and this can supply it. This will allow the consumer to run multiple well, showers. Bob doesn't know anything, anything about laundry. Look exactly. how wrinkles his shirt is. Flow. We're going to establish that flow and have that for a period of time. Unlike the tank heater. <laughs> his LL Bean shirt. His wife would say to get an iron and he would come there with his press. Start pressing it with that. That's the flow rate on the unit itself. That's the actual flow rate. 5.3 gallons per minute. Correct. What we do is we measure the temp. The red eye will measure the water temperature on the inlet side. There's a controller here on well, the side. Do you side. have your thermometer with you? The no, the machine does it, Bob. The water <laughs> well, you just said you're going to measure the water. This could be mounted in a bathroom, in a laundry, or a kitchen, or a back place. Mm -hmm. How about a porch? How about a porch? <laughs> How about so a swimming pool? Theoretically, alter the temperature. <laughs> For example, if you wanted it hotter or cooler, uh, you could use that remote. An application could be if we had children in a bathroom. Mm -hmm. I could drop the water temperature to a safe level where there would never be an issue of scalding. Right. 
Oh, they put a lot yeah, of stuff in there. You can do there, that with oh. tank water heaters too. Uh, so the water feeds the cold those. water is coming in. We've got to move oh, the, the, the water service. These over guys are full of bullshit. Right. And then what, what happens in here? What happens is the cold water feeds. Shouldn't you know this? Connection right here. You, need you would flow, think. Uh, How many episodes does he have? Yeah, How many thousands? Many, and people still are dumb enough to say, I love Bob Fiedla. He knows what he's talking about. Well, what about the experts that are with him, dumbasses? This unit is going to get picked up by a thermistor, which is a temperature sensor, and then also the volume of water. So it's measuring the volume of water. How do you turn the volume up? <laughs> I want to hear the water so I, so I know it's flowing perfectly. Same way a, a carburetor would in a car. Oh, don't tell him that he has a chef. This is the termination light that will on to the outside. Uh-oh. So Bob used that for his coffee. He thought it was a thermos. <laughs> now he has to go to Sears and get a new one. The PVC... Is um, zero oh, they're gonna rip them off then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes, they are. Over electric, about 70%. Over electric, it would be like 70%. Yeah, depending on your kilowatt rate. Didn't he so just say like that? We're in mm -hmm. New England here. It's not good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks, Dan. Thank you, Bob. All right. Well, it's almost finished, but so are we. Next week, we'll be installing heating and ventilating and air conditioning equipment, as well as teaching you how to fix squeaky we? floors. So then, I'm Bob Vila. Thanks for joining us. I mean, them. One thing that I do miss, though, is that this is like a newer episode, and we didn't get, like, the cheesy 90s intro and him wearing... I mean, his outfit was pretty bad, but... It was pretty bad. In the past, he wore worse outfits. Yeah, he did. Like the Al Borland shirt. Well, now he's going to Goodwill and thrift stores because of his age. He what about has... the Daisy Dukes? Do you remember that? <laughs> God, those were bad. He probably has a latch on the S of his pants, so he doesn't have to squat. He just puts the flap down and sits down. I want to ask a question. Did we learn anything about waterproofing our basements? You know what? I did. Listen to the people that are talking, not Bob. All Bob does is ask questions. He's like people at Radio Shack. They ask questions and we have the answers. Where it should be the other way around. So, folks... Please let us know how you feel about Bob Vila and if you like these Bob Vila videos. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Add it to your favorites. It's one of mine.